Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. All right. So we're continuing the alien talk. We are continuing the alien talk. So, Jonas, ask me questions. I know all I, things Gersh and Gersh. And I know. So like you were talking at the end of last episode that you think the data dropping has started. That they're starting to spoon feed us alien jive talk yes the, the, the disclosure plan has begun they like i said they say they david gers claims that they've already tried data drops before or disclosure before but they were just unsure about how the public would react to it and what rightfully is, so when when did they do that um I, I can't remember the exact date but it has been in the past where they've released some stuff um so you know okay they, they've definitely tried all right i i uh I, are you a believer yet? Let's I, just let's just get into the real. Are you a believer yet? <laughs> I'm still agnostic about it. You're still agnostic. I don't have proof yet, man. Give me a goddamn pilot. Does, Show us the craft. Here's the thing. Have Biden fly that B out on a on the White House lawn. Here's the thing, though, man. It's like deep down in your heart of hearts, you've always known. <laughs> wow. Right? I love how you're talking about how deep my heart goes. I mean, I'm serious. Like, come on, man. We've all I realized mean, we, we that the government the, is hiding something from us. We did the Fermi us. Paradox episode. So, I mean, that's literally the same thing that this is about. Yeah. yeah. It is. I mean, I, I've always said we'd be ignorant to think if we were not the only living thing in the entire universe. And you've always known is that the government has never been full disclosure I with mean, us. they've talked about Area 51 even when we were like the kids and before the internet. Like, I mean, people Spoon knew feet. that something was whatever. Here's the other thing. You made a point that the end of the last one I want to talk about real quick. You Go said ahead. nothing that the media gives us is, is not unintentional. But also, it's also not entirely true and they create their own narrative so, how so so i mean they tell us what they want to tell us about they tell us how they want it to be perceived yeah the, the news here about the war across over there is different than the news in that country about the war or like yes. whatever yes it's very perspective driven that is what i'm in that, that that only feeds into my point even more the fact is that everything that we intake is curated to the american person only means is that the fact that the, the information that this individual is saying, the fact that it's being allowed to be said, means is that they want us to hear it or they want somebody to hear it. They want it to be because if they didn't, they just say no. They well, just be like, no, they, they, well, I mean, Epstein yeah, if, is he's, if he's dropping out classified info, he'd just go to jail. He's very, he's very careful. Whenever he says anything to not identify certain things that he cannot because of the classified information, um, which means what he is saying has been declassified so he can talk about it. So he's probably their conduit like they he was like, listen, I'll be the guy. It's not necessarily that it was declassified because he did go into detail on this. It's just that he cannot necessarily um, he can't tell government secrets. He's allowed to give stories that he's been or accounts that he's had, but he can't name names. He can't give numbers of spacecrafts or or certain aspects of of the. Uh, so he's allowed to talk about his personal experience as yes. long as it's not descriptive to identify things that he should not identify. Yeah, look, man, you want to read his? his but, but you you want to read his contract? I mean, but, <laughs> not contract, but, but his NDA. But. With that being said, mm -hmm. we all have our own version of what events happened and when there's the truth. So, I mean, you and you and... I like, uh, I like the skepticism. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do. I like the skepticism. I mean, because I remember a fight with my ex-wife and she was at fault. But you know what? That same goddamn fight, I was the one at fault. And you know what really happened? Probably somewhere in the middle. You know what the difference is? What's that? Is that you don't have the documented names and accounts of tens of to hundreds of people that were there that witnessed the fight and that are willing and have in front of Congress said, we have seen this fight happen. <laughs> we have proof. I worked for a, the national intelligence for government and I have intelligence leaders, including the president who are aware of the fight and they're willing to, they're, we just need to get the information to fight out there. All right. So once I highly suggest. First off, I heard I highly suggest that you watch the Joe Rogan Experience interview. You, Joe Rogan's right up your alley, anyway. Is I know he, you don't like. I've never been a, into that. He's he, like okay. So look, I understand he has a stigma about him, especially to you because you're a boomer. Um, Excuse me. Hold on. <laughs> what? I, 
uh, there's the, you don't know why I don't listen to Joe Rogan. I don't listen to Joe Rogan either. Yeah, but you're telling me it's for boomer reasons. You don't even. I mean, I just mean to say is that he he does have some intelligent perspectives, and a lot of the things that he said, I was thinking in my head, and I was like, okay, well at least he's exploring. The, he explores the the ideals. So he fulfills your echo chamber. He doesn't fulfill my echo chamber. He fulfills my thirst for information, and it just happens to align with your views. I think that he asked prominent, pertinent questions. Yeah. Did you watch any um, debunkers videos about this yet? Have you watched the, the gross, the debunk. gross debunkers? Um, I have watched a few. Um, and but what's a lot. Their fight. It, none of these people have the clearance that he has. We're talking about a guy who worked at the Pentagon. But what's the skepticism like, against him from the, the actual debunkers out the there? The skepticism is that this guy is just talking shit because he's on a he's on a, a book tour, or and he's not even I oh he's he, rich because of this. He doesn't have a book. He lost his job because of this in the government. I mean, so I mean, is he rich because of this? Maybe. I mean, he did to Joe Rogan. I'm sure Joe Rogan gave him a check. I, um, I I'm sure know. that all the other podcasts that he's done is giving him. Gave him a check. Checks. Um, a, a lot of the uh, UFO, a lot of the UAP news that has been happening is mostly on like right wing news channels. Interesting. Which is very odd. Like a lot of Fox News, as I've seen Fox News run some articles, but, but News Nation, and it it, it is kind of it's it kind of rebar. It kind of hurts a little bit. That's why I was so happy to say Newsweek actually published an article. I mean, they're kind of. They're give me, give me something else, John. What else you want to know about aliens? I mean, what I else just, you want to know, man? I'm sorry. What do you want to know about these entities? I composition. I Ask me something about that. I but, but what about them? I just want to know why you believe this man so much, and why don't you believe somebody else? Well, here's the thing. I am a skeptic. All right. It I, sounds like it. I'm 100 <laughs> percent skeptic, but when I see a man. Of his position, okay. Like you have to understand, is there's a couple factors. One is that he is intelligent. Two is that if he is lying, this is the most like you would have. Like this man is Mozart with this lie. He's he's freaking he's freaking Hemingway. It's easy with this to lie. sound smart about something that no one else understands. I'm getting there. Okay. <laughs> getting, All right. Just because saying. yeah, you say nobody else understands, but yet. He did a congressional hearing with two people by his side who also had accounts, even going beyond his because they actually saw shit. And then when we talk about the countless accounts from Air Force who say we see UAPs every day, there is no shortage of accounts of these happenings. There's no shortage. They're out there. They're always happening right now. China, Japan is having a congressional hearing. There will be new information. We might have to revisit this next fucking week. Okay, all right. You it's sound. not that I. It's not that I'm not skeptic. It's that, that there's so much right now coming out. How can I not believe? Remember I'd be that video? stupid not to believe it. Remember when that you video put it right we in front of my about, face about how that guy was telling us how uh, COVID was caused by 5G and how convincing he made it sound. Remember that video? Yes, remember but he was I, a also remember the, I also remember. He was a professor too. I also remember that guy not working for intelligence. I also remember <laughs> that guy not being in front of Congress. I also remember that guy not being denied a skiff with Congress for some reason, which is just odd. For why? What's that? A skiff is basically an isolated chamber where you're allowed to give government secrets. Um, without penalty of law necessarily, or without okay, like reprisal a safe, for it's like a safe space, a safe immunity space. or whatever. Yes. Yeah, and you're allowed okay. to and you're allowed to give this information. Now, the I will tell you is that when it comes to the information that he says, I'm, I'm it's not that I'm like 100 percent in on it. It's just that the fact is that I felt like this was always a thing. All right, it's, it's always been. I feel like it, a lot of listeners at home feel like they've always known that there's something out there. We're actually getting information. The government is taking this shit seriously. If senators are trying to block the uh, the the program that could possibly give us more information, obviously they're doing it for a reason. Oh, if yeah. If he's taking it to Senate and they're holding votes on it, obviously they're doing it for a reason. If he's receiving threats, if he's going on this tour, the only thing that I really do not understand is his motivation. 
It seems a little iffy to me. Even to this day, we spoke about it last time, but he claims that his motivation is is that when he joined the Army or the Navy or the Air Force, I'm sorry, he said that uh, he made a pledge to uphold the truth and that he felt like the disclosure of this information was unconstitutional. They're holding information not only from the American people, but from a lot of other members of Congress. The president does not know the truth of what is really going on because a lot of these uh, aircraft or spacecraft or UAPs are being held by private owned companies and they are using it to make themselves billionaires. Mm. And that is why they're so caged about it. He also says is that he believes is that if more of the information is shared with everybody, then more people can study it and we can learn more from it. So freedom of information. It seems a little too altruistic for me. Yeah. But I'm who am I to say? He also told me he was autistic in the end. <laughs> told you. He's like, listen, he also TNT. told us, I should say. TNT, he told I'm us. autistic. He called you up. He also told hey, us man, he was autistic. You know, I I've always been agnostic about it. So I mean like Brother, I don't have enough to say that I'm in yet. I don't know. But I'm leaning more that way than ever. How can I don't understand how you cannot when it is in like I don't know if the government was like, hey, uh, we think there's like a bear at your back door. Are you going to get up and check the back door? I mean, if you if you saw on the TV right now, news report, Joe Biden gets up. Yes, Jonas, there's a bear at your back door. Are you going to get up and check the door? Are you going to be mean, like, is it, eh, break, is it trying to break it down? I don't know. There might be a there might be one. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, You'd if be there stupid. was a UFO outside our goddamn door, I'd go look at it and be like, there it is. But there ain't. Jonas, they're just talking about it. Proverbially, there's a UFO at our back door right All now. All right, well, when it's and there, you when motherfuckers I can touch better it, be ready. When I can see it with my own eyes, when I can touch it, not on a video, when it's right here, and I can go go to the tour and be like, "Ooh, there's a little aircraft." Biden's flying it around the White House. Let's go. But we anyways, could, we could do another episode. <laughs> <laughs> we're not though. We're not though. That's it. That's, that's it. the alien episode. That's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazyhound.com for Jonas TNT. Uh, we have.